Hi, I'm Ken McCoy. I'm actually about to do a photographic seminar, but I thought I'd share a few photo tips with you to help you take better summer photos this summer. It's going to be a great time to do new and creative and innovative photography. But there are some pointers for you to keep in mind. Number one, there's a lot of great photos you could take with your mobile device, such as this Blackberry or an iPhone or an Android. They can take great photos you can use three megapixel settings or lower settings if you're doing MMS photography. If you're emailing it to someone or text messaging it, you could take more photos if you lower the quality of the frames you're shooting. What's also popular nowadays is shooting digital stills with a digital video camera. You can actually do frame grabs. Now, keep in mind that your light should be, the number one source of light should be the sun. Anything outside of that is manufactured or bounce lighting, such as a reflector. So keep in mind, the sun should be to your back. Your subject should be in the most well-lit area possible. Another point to keep in mind, don't talk during your photography. Talking will cause vibration and blur. The other thing you want to keep in mind as well is be careful about a lot of zooming. Zooming will cause a lot of defocusing to take place while you're taking the photo, which could help cause blurry photos. So, the other tip is, being that it's summer, protect your cameras. Make sure that you properly clean your cameras. If you clean your lens, make sure you clean your viewfinder as well. Do not put liquids on your, on your film cameras front or back or your digitals. What you want to do is use lens tissue, couple of little turns, and it could be clean. One final tip I want to say, make sure that you're having fun anytime you're doing photography. Being in the photography business for over 30 years, I can tell you I've made all the mistakes that most people have made, but now I'm trying to help you do better photography. I'm Ken McCoy, and that's a few tips on doing better photography.